Hi, this is Professor Evans, and this morning we want to talk a little bit about World War II. And the undeniable fact about World War II is the enormous casualty toll that resulted from six years of war. And it actually could be a little bit longer than that to push back the start of the Sino-Japanese War into the earlier 1930s. And so what you're looking at right now is a website from the National World War II Museum, which is located in, in New Orleans. And let me just scroll down the page a little bit. And what you'll see here is a chart of deaths by country. And it's broken down by military deaths for each country involved in World War II. And you'll see there's quite a few countries that were involved. World War II, a lot of countries that you might not normally think about. Uh, so military deaths and then the total of civilian and military deaths involved in the war. And for a lot of these figures, they're approximate figures because we don't have exact figures. And for, for example, as you see there, China, its estimated military deaths are three to four million, with civilian and military deaths uh, exceeding 20 million. Um, Germany is a rough, rough figures, and then also, for example, uh, the Soviet Union. Uh, it's completely unclear how many uh, Russian and Soviet citizens lost their lives in the conflict within Germany, but it's it's pretty evident that it was well over twenty million. And so uh, the the site then sums it up for. For battle casualties of World War II, it gives us round figure of 15 million, and then with civilian deaths, well over 45 million, giving a total of God 60 million. It's enormous numbers, and everything, and it's hard to really conceptualize what that means. Now let me switch to a, a different page here, and this is a uh, a Wikimedia data visualization. Data vis visualization is when you take numbers like we just looked at uh, the casualty figures just numbers and you put them in some sort of visual visual or graphical format that allows you to better understand what the numbers really mean and so this is a, a bar graph format that you can look at for uh, World War II deaths and so what you have is a, a rather typical bar deaths a bar graph with uh, military deaths, civilian deaths and then the total million total deaths in millions also. But what I also found interesting about this particular visualization is that it gives you a, 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 a data category called total, total deaths as a percentage of the 1939 population. And you'll see like for a lot of countries involved in World War II in Europe, these are enormous percentages. And so uh, you have Poland, probably close to 20% of its 1939 population died in World War II. And it's kind of, and these are substantial figures. Lithuania, uh, Latvia, Germany, Hungary. These are enormous impacts. And so um, it's clear that a lot of people died in World War II. But then as a result of that, you also have this, you also have repercussions after that. And one of the, the, the notable repercussions is that you've lost a whole generation of young men. You've lost a generation of talented young men. You've lost a generation of young men who aren't there to reproduce and uh, father children as part of families. There's no families. Uh, the Soviet Union, for example, after World War II, there are so many men had died in the war uh, that it was uh, that there were all kinds of jokes and legends about you know women couldn't get married because there were no men anywhere for them to marry. They were just completely missing. Or they were wounded um, in the war and that they weren't interested or that they were they had suffered trauma in the war and they weren't interested in being part of families. Either. So this whole kind of like post-war repercussions that it took really a generation, maybe a generation and a half to work through before you began to get back to kind of an era of normalcy in these countries that were dramatically affected by uh, World War II. Um, of course, the specific instance that we're examining in our unit on World War II is the Holocaust 
and the, the genocides that occurred as part of the war. And that's your particular assignment for this week of the course. Okay, thanks.